A strange craft was shipwrecked off Devil's Point this morning. This piece of wreckage was washed ashore. Odd name for a vessel. Were there any survivors? Three, Your Excellency. They swam ashore and we captured them. They're outside now. Bring them in. You may leave. You'll try that once more. <laughs> You're afraid to do that again. By golly, he did it. I'm beginning to hate that guy. I never saw seafaring men dressed like that. I don't believe they're sailors. <gasps> they're sailors, all right. Hiya, babe. <laughs> Seize them! Well, explain to you. I intended making galley slaves of you. Gee, thanks! But I've changed my mind. For your insolence to my betrothed, you shall die. I'll throw you to the tigers. Give us a chance. Be a sport, Gov. You want a chance? Yeah. yeah. Very well. You may choose the manner in which you will die. Oh, that's easy. Old age. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You have your choice. You may have your heads chopped off, or you may be burned at the stake. We'll take burning at the stake. Very well. We'll toast them Monday at sundown. What did you pick burning at the steak for? Because a hot steak is better than cold chop. <laughs> Away with them! Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, Mo! Hey, Mo! They're down there gathering firewood. Yeah, tomorrow's the day they're gonna toast us like marshmallows. If that guy don't stop staring at me, I'll knock his block off. Somebody beat you to it. I brought the guards. I've come to help you get away. Boy, are we glad to see you. And if I do, will you take me with you? Will we? Will we? Will we? We will. Say, who are these guys? Oh, just a couple of men who tried to help me escape. Oh. <laughs> the governor's taking his nap. Now's the time to go. What do we do, make a run for it through the corridor? Oh, no, no, no. The guards would catch you before you'd gone 20 paces. I want to show you something. Oh, no wonder the bed was so lumpy. I've saved these tools for just such an occasion. Now carry them into the closet. Why the closet? The west wall of that closet leads to the outside of the palace. Oh, oh the, the west, west wall. wall. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. See, you can't go wrong with mo. <laughs> Thanks. Get busy here. Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh! Get out of my way. Put that chisel up, kid. Oh! Oh! I don't know what to do. Oh! oh. Hey! Oh! Oh! Mm. Oh! 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 What's wrong with you? Get busy! What do we do with this? Oh, that's simple. <laughs> wow! Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Wait a minute. I'll straighten this out. There. Now. Hey, wait a minute. I know what I'm doing. Oh. Oh, 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 Contact. 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 Hey, hey, shut up. I can't. It's stuck.
wall, dummy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop. This is no time to quarrel. You're right. We better try the other wall. No, we haven't time for that either. Uh, there must be a way out. There is. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. Wait, I'll be right back. What a girl. What a girl. What a guy. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. What are you hitting him for? Get out of here. Get out of I'll here. I'll take care of him. No, no. Eeny, meeny, miny. I'll take care of him. This is the plan. As soon as you get out of here, go to Black Louie's pirate den. Here are 50 pieces of gold. With it, you can bribe Black Louie to take us all off this accursed island. Right. Shh. Hiya, babe. <laughs> Lay off, bird brain. She'd slit your throat for two doubloons. We got a barber do it for two bits. But he ain't as good looking. Get those glasses on. Go on, get gone. Oh, 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 oh. Shh, oh. Captain, Captain! These are wayfarers from strange lands, and they bear rare gifts for the governor. Wayfarers? Wayfarers, ta. Maha. Aha. Yati bili fuji yati limine haronji. Uh-uh. That's for the governor. We have a present for you later, a Mickey Finn. Oh! oh, oh. This way. Your Excellency, these men bring rare gifts. Allow me to present the Raja of... Uh... Uh, Kanasi. Oh! And his interpreter, um... The Jinn of Rummy. Oh! Can we dispense with the formalities and bake with the gifts? Oh, yes, the gifts. Sit down. Priceless gifts does the Raja bring. Gifts? Yes. We shall see. Maha. Aha. Uh -huh. You like to speak that? I like to talk that. Rasbanyas yati benefucha timini haronja. That, uh, how do you say that? Pickle puss. Yes, Kiteski, what did you for tsaik? You got it. Nyating. Nyating? Yooks. Oh, boy. Imaha! Aha! Rasbani shati bini fuchiati! Quiet! The Raja says that he is a bearer of a rare jewel known as the. A ruby! A ruby as large as a turkey's egg. The ruby di lollipopskia. It's raspberry! What fire! I have many pigeon blood rubies, but never have I been given the raspberry. What other rarity does the Raja have for me? He had some bubble gum, but I think he swallowed it. But we shall see what we shall see. Maha. Aha. Hello, do. Hello, do. Rosbanias, you have to be in the foot of Timon Yaharonja, that, uh, how do you call it, that frog head. Yes, Kiteski, what did you for Tsayek, Ing and Zoman? Got it something else, kiddo? Rasbanya shiati bini fuchi atil mine haronji. Padiri ki mahi ha. I want to see that. Ah, the tusk of a black walrus. Oh, no leak that? No leak that. <laughs> Guaranteed forever. You shall live so long. That's the Maha. Ah, last bunny shot up in the footy. I tell him in a haronji. Bet down, you flatbush flathead. Oh, shut up. I don't have to. Hmm. Oh, 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 Damsels? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> we shall see. Maha. Aha. Rasbanya siati benefucia timini haronja bay meadows. That iron had the esky tesky. What did you for tsaik? Hamdale bendale. You got some slick chicks? Oh, a wolf. 
Razbanya, shati bini fuchi, achiri bini haroji, paraliti mahi, ha? I'd like to see some babies myself. Me too. Hit a guy with glasses, huh? All right. Put him back, put him back. The, uh, maha. Ah, Razbanya, shati bini fuchi. Sit down. Oh, shut up, I don't have to. The Raja says that in his domain on the islands of Coney and Long, there are some fair chickadees who prowl through the meadows day and night. If you give us till sunup, we shall bring some back by sundown. Excellent, excellent. On your way with winged feet. <laughs> Come on, Maha. Ah, yeah, where are you? Oh. Pick up your winged feet and let's get gone. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Hiya, babe. <laughs> ah. Not touch! Ah. Not touch! Not touch! Your Excellency, Your Excellency, why did you let those three scoundrels go? Scoundrels? My dear, they are merchants who go to bring me priceless gifts. Merchants? Ah, why, well, they're the three castaways. Ah, yes, so they are. What? Call out the guard! Call out the guard! We'll search the island! You don't have to search the island. They've gone to the den of Black Louis, the pirate. To Black Louis? Oh, ho, 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 Oh, hurry, Excellency, <laughs> hurry, or they'll escape. They have gold to bribe Louis. There is no need to hurry. Uh, take a message. My dear pal Louis, you are going to have visitors, and I would suggest that you give them a warm reception. Get those things on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Look, a game of skill. Shall we play? No, there's work to be done. Come on. <laughs> Hiya, man. We're looking for Black Louie. I'm Black Louie. Welcome, strangers. <laughs> Make yourselves at home. We're having a little target practice. I'll wager you have sharp eyes for throwing knives. Why, certainly. <laughs> Fine. We'll have a little contest of our own. Say, for 50 pieces of gold? No, I don't want to. What's that? I said certainly. I'd be glad to. Good. <laughs> Get the knives. target. Oh, a volunteer. He'll do. We'll throw the knives at him. Oh, no. I just You have nothing to worry about. If either one of us hits you, we lose. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Help yourself. Ah. Be careful you don't hit Larry. Where is he? Over there. I don't see him. Take off the glasses. Over there by the wall. What wall? Yeah. Put back the glasses. We'll have a dance later. I'm too busy. Rita. Shh. The governor found out about our plot. He sent word to Black Louis to kill you. We better call the cops. We better call the Marines. Keep a stiff upper lip, kid. I'll think of something. Let's not lose our heads. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> Don't move. Remember, the first one that hits him loses. Don't worry, I won't take no divots. Go ahead, you first. You try. <laughs> he missed him. He's over there.
Get back in position. Call nice work. What a clean sweep. Hurry, we can take Black Louis' sloop and flee the island before these cutthroats wake up. Yeah, let's get going. Not a chance, kid. I captured this layout and I'm taking over. I now crown myself Emperor Mo of Dead Man's Island. Down, slaves, and salam me. Oh. Ah! 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 running plum wild again. I ought to be out there slinging lead at you. What chance would you have? The thing to do is ride to Fort Scott and fetch the soldiers. I reckon you're right now, honey. I'm hitting the trail. Forgot my guitar. Goodbye now, honey. I hurt my knee. Up with that saddle. How do you get this thing on? It goes this way, I told you. Wait a minute, what about that thing? That's the backstop. That's to keep you from sliding off backwards. Oh, no, it ain't. That's the horn. The what? The horn. <laughs> By golly, you're right. I'm going to toss the saddle on the nag. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. All right. Hey, you idiot, what are you doing? Yes, Sarge. Right, Sarge. Right out. Oh, get busy, Dad, Joe. Get your shoes on that horse and a double. Yes, sir, on a double. Yes, Sarge, on a double. Yes, on a double. Get the shoes on that horse. Like a bird. Oh, yeah. They are the laziest bunch of guys. I. <clears throat> what size, madam? We have some lovely ground grip. Quiet. Stop the nonsense and get busy with that hammer. Go ahead. Oh. Take it easy, Sarge. We got you. I did it. Oh. 
I'm gonna give you one solid year of Well, sir, I was... Never mind. The colonel wants to see you at once. I'll attend to you later, Private Mullins. Don't you worry about a thing, son. We'll take care of that Dillon gang. Well, thank you kindly, Colonel. Keep forgetting my guitar. Well, I'm riding, sir. I hurt my knee again. Beg your pardon. Reporting is ordered, sir. At ease. Sergeant, I need three or four good men for a very important mission. Yes, sir. I want them to go into the panhandle country, disguise this desperados, and hook up with that Dillon gang. Yes, sir. You understand, Sergeant, this is a very dangerous mission. The Dillons are ruthless killers, and these men that you select probably will never come back. I have just the men, sir. Oh, come back here. We're desperado, see? I don't feel very desperado. Well, we gotta be tougher than they are, that's all. Shut up! Well, give me back my front teeth. Give me a straight slug. Me too. I'll take a double. Make mine a triple. I'll take a milkshake. Which sour milk? I'm back now, honey. What took you so long? Oh, shucks. I fell off my horse and I had to walk. What about the soldiers? That's them. Them? Here's mud in your eye. Mighty smooth. Maybe we want to bump them off. No, no. What is that? Tough hombres, eh? Yeah, what about it? Handy with your shooting arms, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. Like this? Uh, that's nothing. Show them, Tex. Show them, Tex. You're Tex. Go on, show them. Stand clear, hombres, because I'm rough and I'm tough. Yes, sir. I'm lightning with a shooting iron. That's what I am. Lightning. Why? Please, lightning is what I am. Why, I'll show you the badge. That's what I'll do. I'll have it in a minute. Shucks, I forgot to load them. Put up your guns, boys. I'll handle this. You got anything to say, Tenderfoot, before I gun you down? Your gun is empty. No! Breeze lightning, that's what I am. Take it easy. Take it easy, Tex. Where are you, poor cats, before I get real rough with you? Go on, get out. 
Oh, Elmer. No, honey. to your gun. Oh, well, we ran into three strangers, boss. Three strangers? Do you know who they are? No, I've never seen them before. Lefty trailed them here from Fort Scott. They're spies. Spies? They'll have the troops down on us. Well, I'm leaving. Wait a minute. We're not leaving here. Not till we clean out the town. Anyway, how can those hombres report to Fort Scott if they're dead? Yeah. If it's information you want, this is the place to get it. Dylan and his gang come here nearly every night. We'll be all ears. This is the last of it. The stage gets held up so regular, we got to keep the gold from the mine in that safe. Wow, does Dylan know about it? Oh, no. That's good. Look! Oh, shucks, I missed. Now Dylan will know about the gold. That settles it, kid. You've got to ride. Tell the Colonel we need the United States Cavalry. I reckon you're right, partner. I'm hitting the trail. Sounds like the trail hit him. And the little one said, you'll be sleeping in my bed. Well, you taste this, you'll love it. That'll... that'll be two bits. See them? No, I don't. Okay, gents, what'll it be? What are you having, boys? Have you seen anything of three strangers around here? No, ain't been no strangers around here, partner. Hey, there was a couple of sheep herders in here, about seven. And a few cowpokes about. Oh, a little while after that. The only stranger that I know left town on the four o'clock stage. And come to think of it, there was three of them. Did you check that stage like I told you? Sure I did, boss. I wouldn't miss an important thing like that. There was only two old miners and some dude. Well, well. Spying, eh? No. Leaving. Where's the other one? He's gone, I guess. Then we'll have to work fast. Blackjack, go get the girl. I'm taking her with us. Right. Lefty, you open that safe. Sure. <laughs> now, I wonder where the other one went. Taking you along with him, just in case he gets lonesome. <coughs> Colonel, there's trouble at Coyote Creek. We need the cavalry. I'm sorry, son, but yesterday was payday, and well, you know, boys will be boys. You mean no United States cavalry? No United States cavalry. Colonel, I'm riding alone. Oh no. <laughs>
like we're going to need help. Go tell Blackjack to tie up the girl and come here. Right, boss. Oh, I got him! Ah! Did you see him? No, but we'll get him. You said you opened this. I did. It's locked. Never mind, I know the combination. Settles it. We'll blast. Come on, get it. Oh, I can't. All right, I'll keep an eye on them. You go see what's holding up the boys. He's doing playing horsey horsey. Oh, come on, untie us. Wars now. In the. Thanks, partner. No, honey. See, we got Dylan, too. Oh, isn't it wonderful, Elmer? Now we can get married. Now, wait a minute, Nell. Us Westerners ain't the marrying kind. We just go riding off into the sunset. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo... Nell, honey. Elmer.
Yes, yes. Okay, would you quit worrying? I'll find him. Something big, boss? There's a hundred grand big. <whistles> Sounds like the mint. What is it? Three mugs have the winning sweepstake tickets worth a hundred thousand bucks. Who are they? I don't know. Uh, two of them are short and funny looking, and the guy who bought the ticket is fat with no hair, and he's got two hearts tattooed on his chest. All we gotta do is find him. And out of 50,000 fat guys, you're gonna find one with two hearts tattooed on his chest. With your help. Patents bought and sold. This is the place. Now remember, no less than $100 for the invention. Okay. <laughs> 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 Well, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Nothing. 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 See you later. I get the... Oh, wait a minute. Is the patent man in? Well, that's me. Well, we got a patent we want to sell. A fly catcher. How does it work? Oh, it's simple. It that's is... enough. You see, a fly being a nosy animal, he crawls into this little hole, sees the steps, and starts climbing. The kitchen's on the top floor, so he goes up to see what's cooking. <laughs> what? No elevator? Don't be ridiculous. How do you like this dope? People... That's enough. I'll tell this. And when a fly gets to the top, still being dizzy and nosy, he looks down, sees himself in the mirror. Thinking it's another fly, he gets burned up. He thinks this fly's cutting in on his territory. Get it? <laughs> so he jumps down, lands on his stomach, and knocks his brains out. It's a beautiful sight. And simple, isn't it? Very. And a penny a fly, there's millions in it. Well, when you make your first hundred dollars, bring it in, and I'll give you a patent. Oh, boy. We're in the money. Hey, Brainy, at a penny a fly, how many flies do we have to catch to make a hundred bucks? A hundred thousand? <laughs> What's the matter, little girl? You wouldn't understand with all that money. I'm just a poor little orphan. Nobody loves me and I haven't any food. I love you and they'll get you some food. <laughs> you mean you haven't had anything to eat? No. This morning I went to the cupboard to get my poor self a bone. But when I got there, the cupboard was bare. Not even a bottle was there. <laughs> Go on, get her a bottle. <laughs> hey, you know how hard it is to get a bottle these days. Milk, you numbskull. Oh. <laughs> you get the milk, I'll get the bread. And you? Oh, don't leave me alone. <laughs> I'll stay with her. Why? Go on. Won't you take your coat off and be comfortable? Won't you sit down? I'm going to rumple your hair. You're such a big, strong man. I'll bet you've got two hearts right here. Oh, I think you got something there. I think I have. Come on, let me see your heart. No, I don't want to. Oh, let me see. No! Come on. Don't do that! I said don't! Oh, 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 oh. Are you hurt? I think I'm stabbed. Oh, look what you did to my knitting needle. It didn't do me any good either. Oh, come on, let's sit down. Now, let's see those hearts. I said no! Another one. Oh, so you have. <laughs> That's it. You hit the bottom. Oh, it must be wonderful to have a hundred thousand. Did you get it yet? Oh, you mean my fly catcher. Certainly, we'll have a hundred thousand flies just like that. Not dollars? No, flies. Why, you double-crosser! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Look out, though! <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> You see what you did when I get the... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 
Why, that wolf. Stand aside. Get out! What's the idea, Porter? <laughs> Manny! Pappy! Get away from here! You mean Porter. No, I'm going to throw the water away and hit him with the bucket. Oh. trying to do. It wasn't me. All I did was this. You shot that guy and killed him, too. <laughs> Come on. What's the door? Come on, are you? Come on, that door. We better get out of here. <laughs> Wait a minute. We better take him along so they won't know you killed him. <laughs> Give me that rag. It's a bag. Quick, we'll stuff a minute. Hurry up, he's getting stiff. Okay. See the trouble you got us into? <laughs> Pull it all the way up around his neck and hide him good. Boy, is he stiff. Slim just called. He has the guy who won the 100000 Did he get the dough? Yeah, and after he paid his income tax, he had just 12 bucks left. Take it easy now, kid. Come on. Hurry up. We've got to find a place to hide him. Hey, stuff him in that barrel. Ooh. Get him all the way in so nobody can see him. Way down. Hey, what are you guys up to? We couldn't help it. It was an accident, officer. Or suicide. Can't you read that sign? Now take that trash and get out of here. You heard him. Take that trash and get out of here. But that ain't the... Shut up! You heard what the officer said. Take the trash and get out of here. Just trash. Come on with that rubbish guy. Come on. Hey, come back here, you murders! <laughs> well, this is a place. Everest Pet Cemetery. Do you think he was somebody's pet? What difference does it make? Come on. Somebody just ran by me. What did he look like? I couldn't tell. He was running on his hands and knees. Yeah? Yeah, he had a big head and long curls. Wait a minute. Why can't we bury him out in the street? What? And have somebody run over him and kill him again? We're gonna bury him right here. like this? Yeah, just like that, only on the other side. Where's the body? I ain't got no body. I lost it. Well, you better go find uh, it. Uh, uh. Hello. Hello, Mr. Black. This prowler's in the cemetery. 
You better come on over. Oh, but I can't. I'm giving a masquerade party. Yeah. Oh, all right. We'll be right over. Get Joe. There's something wrong at the cemetery. Let's leave the body here. No, sir. You killed him and you're going to bury him. Oh. See what we have to do that. There he is, you chucklehead. Bring him over here. This is all your fault. <laughs> Did you kick me? No. Well, it's a good thing you didn't, because if you had, I would have. We'll spread out and search the grounds. If you spot anyone, whistle. I wonder where that lunkhead is. I don't know and I don't care. All I want to do is get out. There's nothing to be afraid of in here. Everything is dead. I think I see something over there. Come on, follow me. Larry, are you behind me? If you ain't, don't answer me. Here. Never mind that. I saw a big hole over there. Let's bury him first and then we'll get out of here. Pick him up. It was around here someplace. Quick, we'll hide in the hole and maybe we can catch him. Here it is. Throw him in, we'll cover him up. Ah, no, no. I said throw him in and cover him up. I did. I suppose he walked back by himself. Now throw him in. We'll keep a sharp lookout. Why don't you make up your mind? Are you a yo-yo? Boy, hey Mo, hey Larry. What's the matter? He just walked out and kicked me in the mouth. I'll kick you in the mouth. Come on, get your shovel and cover him up. Hurry up. Hey! hey! What are you yelling about? That wasn't me.
It's absolutely wonderful. It's terrific. It's colossal. It's stupendous. You know, this is the best termite sprayer we ever use. Do I look like a termite? Don't answer that. <laughs> now look, you guys. We gotta spray this entire building before the publicity department comes back from location. Now we gotta step on it. What time is it? I'll give you the time, old timer. What's the idea of the three watches? That's the way I tell time. How do you tell time? This one is 10 minutes slow, this one is 20 minutes fast, the one in the middle is broke, it stopped at 2 o'clock. Well, how do you tell the time? I take the 10 minutes slow, subtract it from the 20 minutes fast, and divide by the 2 in the middle. Well, what time is it now? Oh, it's 9.30. Why, right, oh. you... Oh! oh. oh. 9.30. Get away from here. <laughs> Come on, for your brain, shake a leg. We'll finish it in the morning. Well, I'm glad to see you're still here. I've always wanted to meet you, boys. I understand you've been knocking them dead lately. Oh, we always do. Yep, we cover every angle. But I'm afraid you'll have an advantage over us, sir. <laughs> what a kidder. As if he didn't know who J.B. Fletcher is. I only run this studio. Oh, excuse me. Uh, boys, I'd like to have you meet our new star, Ms. Dolly Duvall. How'd you do? And that brings me to the purpose of my visit. I want you to whip up a publicity stunt that'll make Mr. Ball famous overnight. But and if you put this over, I'll see that you get a whale of a big bonus. But, boss, we ain't exactly... Uh, we ain't going to disappoint you, Mr. Fletcher. Uh, it's good. I'll tell you what. We'll have the little lady disappear. That's always a great story. Disappear? Oh, how corny can one get? I don't know. Just think, every paper in the country will carry her picture on the front page. Millions of people will wonder what happened to her. And all the time she'll be hiding out at the Clinton Arms Hotel. What do you think, my dear? You did say Clinton Arms? I did. Those guys just gave me a great idea how to pick up some fast dough. Where are we going? Clinton Arms Hotel, you dummy. Hello? Step on it, you guys. Those reporters will be here any minute. You, take a letter. On the typewriter, on the typewriter. Flash. Hollywood, June 22nd. Dolly DeVore, glamorous star of B.O. Pictures, disappeared today under circumstances that indicate foul play. And... Read that back. Goggle, uh, goggle. Pararikman, uh, Hiha, June 22nd. Get out! Copy this thing on a typewriter. What happened to my carriage? Your carriage waits without. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your carriage, and next time, hold your horses. Yo. I'm Captain Casey from headquarters. I'm Brown from the Sun. Oh, that's too bad. Are you appealing? Glad you came, Brown. We got a complete story on the disappearance of Dolly DeVore. Get him some pictures. What a story. Save it. We can't print that baloney. You're not fooling me, either. I ain't running my boys ragged for a phony publicity stunt. Oh, gentlemen, you got us all wrong. She disappeared. Honest. She may be in danger. But we'll find her in time to start a new picture. Kiss the moonbeams off my elbow. It'll be colossal. They'll... Look, Scoop, this is my day off. If you bother me anymore with this phony baloney, I'm gonna push it in the oh. stomach, oh. in the chin, and knock it oh. That's what you're gonna do, eh? Yeah, so lay off. Hello? Oh, Mr. Vore? Look, kid, they won't believe us. Come on and go to work. What? But I am in trouble. Can't you understand? Some men broke into my room. They want money. Tell them to be here with the door in an hour, or you'll take a dip in the ocean. A one-way dip. They want $10,000. An hour? 10,000 clams? OK, keep your chin up. Mine is down on my knees. Mo, some crooks grabbed him in the hotel, and she ain't kid. Call a cab. We'll see you outside in a couple of minutes. Come on. I got my groceries. Boy, am I glad to see you. Would you? Would I what? Nothing. Nothing.
That's it down there, room 1717. You guys know what to do? Yeah. Right. Good. Where's the gats? I got mine. Here's yours. Be careful. Where'd you get it? At the studio, same place I got the money. There was a room marked property, but it didn't say whose property. <laughs> well, find his keepers. If you ain't got a gun for me, what'd you bring me along for? For bait. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> This is the zero hour, men. You wait out here. If we're not out in five minutes, come and get us. Yeah. You better make it 30 seconds. Oh. Oh. Over up there. Hey, come here. Take it easy. We're from the B.O. studio. Okay, but if there's any cops out there, you won't leave this room alive. Don't be silly. We wouldn't tell any cops. Here's your dough. Give me that. Well, where's the girl? Not so fast, Sonny. Uh-huh. Hey, wait a minute. This looks like stage money. Ow! Uh, Stick him up! All right, where is she? I'll give you just ten seconds. Stand back or I'll let you have it. Why, you double-crosser. You asked for it. Just a minute, bud. Who are you? I'm the Sandman. That'll hold you. Oh, let me plug him, will you, boss? No, make too much noise. Wait till we get him outside. Lloyd! Lloyd, what's up? What's up? The third one got away. Third one? Yeah, he hit me over the head with a grand piano. You chump, he'll have an army of cops here in five minutes. Head him off. No, wait a minute. The girl's all right. Go on. They've gone. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> oh. Hey, Mo. Hey, Larry. Where did everybody go? Oops. Wrong wall. Oh. oh, oh. My troubles are over. Ah, the hall. Now, where's the elevator? I gotta get down fast. Uh-oh, it must be the other way. There's nothing on this side. And there's nothing on that side either. He's gone. I guess he got away, and that's a good idea for us. Let's go. I think I make a turn here. Champ, take it easy. Don't move. Where are you, Mo? Do I turn here or go straight ahead? You got a knife in your pocket. Hack your way out of that thing. Yeah, I never thought of that. Hat boy, keep cutting. Yes, sir. Hi, kids. Everything is all right now. <laughs> uh, oh! 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 And he had his good suit on, too. <laughs> Help! 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 Ah! <laughs>
Number, please. Get me information. Information? I want the telephone number of the Clinton Arms Hotel, quick. You'll find it in your directory. I ain't got no directory. I'm outside the building. Whoa! <laughs> you know, that chimp was a nice guy. I'll never forgive myself for pushing him around. Hello. Champ, he just stepped out. Champ! You chowder ahead. What's the idea of scaring us half to death? Listen, I'm hanging outside the building on the eighth floor. I guess it's the tenth floor. Would it be too much trouble to send down a rope? You betcha. All right. Hang on, kid. He's safe. Yeah, Dolly, you locate Champ. You get a rope that'll reach to the tenth floor and step on it. Hey, you better bolt that door in case our adversaries come back. Good idea. Adversaries? Yeah. Since when did you get so smart? Oh, I've been smart all the time, only you didn't know it. Say, when I come back, I'll give you the password. Brilliant. What'll it be? Open the door. Get him, man. Get him. All right. <laughs> Open the door. How do you like that? Oh, it's you again. You gotta listen to me. It's a matter of life or death. It'll be your death if you don't keep out of my hair. Now beat it. Hello, fellas. Deal me in. Are you still here? Captain, you gotta go with me. This is serious. I told you no. I don't want to listen to any more of that malarkey. Now get out of here. What's the matter, operator? Will I hang on? What do you think I'll do, let go? Do you think I'm silly? I am sorry. We cannot give out that information. Oh, yeah? A wise guy, eh? If you fall off, watch out for the traffic! It's okay. The green light's with me. <coughs> Take it easy, kid. Don't move too fast. Oh. Hello? Oh, it's you. How you doing? Not so good. Could you hurry it up a little? It's urgent. And besides, somebody wants to use the line. Keep a step up a plate, kid. I can't wait any longer. This will have to do. We got it. Help is on the way. Good work. Those knots will only hold. OK, ship ahoy! Get a hold of this. Find them, boys. Maybe they went back in here. Take one. Stop in the name of the law! Break it in. Drop that rope. Are you all right, boss? What happened, boss? Did you trip over something, huh? Drop 
Hey, this ain't Saturday night. What do we got to lose? Okay. Where's the soap? Here I get soap. Sweethearts will be right in our arms. And before nightfall, we'll be married. <laughs> yeah, and every time my little bride walks through this door, I'll give her a kiss for good luck. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go. You got gum stuck all over the place. Stop chewing gum. I don't have to. Oh! 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 Now throw it away. Why? Hey! Stupid. Mm. Why, you imbecile? Answer the phone. Fool him. <laughs> Get out. He's a favorite? Fine. Five to win, five to place, and 25 to show. That's 35 cents altogether. Okay, call me back if he wins. Thanks. Goodbye. Let me help you here. Wait. Get busy before he murders you. Okay, thanks. Mosquito brain. I didn't mean it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Why, you? Oh, oh Joe. Oh. Get away. Wait a minute. This is our wedding day. We should be happy, friendly, not doing this oh. and none of that. Oh. Hey, maybe you're right. I. <laughs> Remember, palsy walsies, no slapsies. Okay. Hey, porcupine. You know, I was just thinking. Isn't it great our sweethearts are all coming over on the same boat? I wonder if they've met. Speaking of met, how did you meet Maria? It was in a little restaurant. It was love at first bite. I was stationed in Italy, eating bread and hot dogs and waiting to be mustered out. Well, one day...
che cosa fa questo pazzo, davvero? Mmm, delicious. Have a bite? still feel the burning of her kisses. And that was the beginning of our romance. How about yours? Mine? Oh, boy! Oh. Sorry, fellas. It was while I was on leave in Vienna, I decided to find a nice, quiet, private room. They told me of a home with a room for rent, so I dashed down there. I'm sorry. You got a room for rent? Room for rent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and see her, I. Come and see. I will get the mail and then I'll be right back. Okay, oh. baby. Nice. Oh! 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 Tell me you were scrubbing the floor. That's more dangerous than a foxhole. Oh, I'm so glad to say I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, baby. You know, I really fell for you. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful ring that is. You like it? Yeah. That's yeah. the real McCoy. Sixteen carats. I'll take it off so I can show it to you. I'll get it, sister. Give us a hand, will you? Yeah. What happened? See? The ring, it is here. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Hold me, hold me! <laughs> hold you, hold me! <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's how it started. She literally swept me off my feet. Boy, am I in love! Oh. Oh. You ain't heard nothing yet. My romance started on the Rue de Schlemiel in Paris. I was anxious to see the Paris sights. Well, one afternoon, I was strolling along the boulevard looking for postcards. <laughs> Pardon me, mademoiselle. You dropped your handkerchief. Oh, merci. Uh-uh. Permit me. Go ahead. Est-ce que vous allez être ici longtemps? I don't know. There are fly one in mine, too, but don't mind it. Just drink up, kid. Fichez-moi la paix avec vos pieds. Autrement, je m'en vais chez moi. I don't know. Oh, we've got to get out of here. Come on. Oh, that's it. Okay, just stay right here. Uh-oh. Stay right here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I left my heart with her on the Rudy Le Pew. She just couldn't resist the Casanova in me. <laughs> oh, get out, come. Fellas, let's drink a toast to our future brides. Right, right, oh. Right, take it over there. All right, hurry up there. Will you give it a quick jerk now? Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Out of my way. 
<laughs> That's the way they do it in Vienna. <laughs> Loaded. Bottoms up. shouldn't marry a girl like that. You're no good. I must fight more. Let's fight a drool. Okay by me. Choose your weapon. Yeah. I'm a referee. When I count three, you shoot. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, still, I can't see you. Can you see me now? Yeah. <laughs> Touche. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Mm, that's eye bullets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. That you was my... Uh, nobody. Nothing. That was my I'm sweetheart. I'm shooting a thing here. Is that right? And I got a new cartridge button here, and I'm going to give it to you right in the eye. Wait a minute. I'm out of bullets. You wouldn't shoot a guy that's an arm, would you? I wouldn't. Hey, I'll draw your fellow. No, oh, that's what I'll Wait do. Cut it out now. Look out, you. I'll get rid of your fellow hole. Ma! Wait a minute. You got me, pal. You got me. I'm bleeding to death. Oh. I'm dying. I'm getting weak. Tell Fifi she was my last thought before I died. I killed him. I killed my best pal. They'll hang us for this. We better get rid of the body. Let's cremate him. We can't do that. We ain't got no cream. I never thought of that. I see. Well, put his feet in cement and dump him in a river. Okay, that's a deal. Okay. Shake it. All right, stir it up. It is stirred up. Okay. Let's put the corpse's feet in it. Okay. Hey, I. Uh, now, let's take a nap until that stuff dries. Okay. What's that? What's the idea of pushing me? Wait a minute, I didn't push you. Oh, my head. What did we drink? I don't know, varnish. I... Hey, look at that. Shemp taking a foot bath. Suffering catfish, we're late. We've missed the boat. Come on. Hey, Sleeping Beauty, it's late. Get out of that foot bath. Come on. The girls are waiting. Come, Come on. on, hurry up. Hey, I can't get up. My feet feel like lead. So does your head. Every time... Oh, get up out of oh, there. Oh. You make a slate every time. Come on, fella. Come on. Hey, I can't move. How did I get into this? Oh, stolen, eh? Whoa! How do you like wool? I'm sorry, but uh, I didn't mean... Oh, that... getting tough, eh? Whoa! What? Oh, you... Oh! Let me at him. Why, you have fixed... Oh! Why, you... Whoa! Don't you like this guy? Come on! Oh. Oh. Don't, fellas. Don't! Cement. Honest, Mo, everything's a blank. I don't know what happened. You put in head, you put cement, you put bath instead of salt. Go get that booby trap. We'll blast, Mo. Will it hurt? 
You won't feel a thing. Gee, thanks. Here we are. Okay, got any matches? Yeah. Light away. Won't be long now. I wonder what is keeping our sweethearts here. They are so late. Maria! Katrina! Fifi! Cesaro! Vivian! Cherie! A tidal wave. Brains can't do anything right, can you? Get up over here, come on. Get over there, you come over here. Now, get to work. Just a second. Let me have that wrench. Let me have it, you imbeciles. Oh, 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 oh. singing. My! Ain't she pretty? Boy, you can say that again. My! Ain't she pretty? Shut up. You said I could! Shut up, we're on the air. Hiya, boss. I was just starting to put the... I know, I know. There's a radiator, and look, there's a piece of pipe. But the radiator ain't no good unless it's connected with the pipe. Not one eeny, itty, bitty good. You jackheads! Get busy and finish this job! We ain't got enough stuff. Well, go get it! Here's your recording, Miss Andrews, and very nice, too. Thank you. I'll see that Mrs. Bixby hears this record, and I hope she'll hire you for her program. But I still can't understand why you won't audition for her in person. Mr. Allen, my name isn't really Andrews. It's Van Doren, and I know Mrs. Bixby very well. And so, you see, I couldn't possibly audition for her in person, could I? I don't get it. Well, you see, my father doesn't approve of my being a radio singer, so I have to do it under an assumed name. Well, I follow you so far. Well, if Mrs. Bixby hires me, my father can't object because she's an old family friend. That's simple enough, isn't it? Oh, sure, sure. Simple like radar. Uh -huh. I'll do my best to get the job for you, Miss Andrews. Oh, thank you, Mr. Allen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mo. It was an accident. I know, fellas. Accidents will happen. Sure. Now you take this wrench. I don't want it. Oh, oh. oh, oh mercy, oh. I did. Oh, oh. I'll make Potter out of that. Leave him alone. Let's see. Tell me what's going on here. Pick up that stuff and get to work. So help me, this your last. Oh. Oh.
Skulls, I'm broadcasting. <laughs> Use Gritto, radio friends. The soap that gives your hands that dishpan look. How will the old man know you've been working if your hands don't have that dishpan look? Hmm? <laughs> Put a box of Gritto in a glass of water, then listen to it fizz. <clears throat> Dopes. Remember, Gritto, spelled sideways, is Atrag. <clears throat> and now Gritto's own story of Sandra Sandpile, and here's mud in your eye. Music. Hark, who is that stepping off the boulevard down by the chicken house? To she. I shall seize her and tie her to the tracks. And she... <laughs> Good afternoon. I used to audition a singer. Will you tell Mr. Allen that I'm here? He got word for you to go to Studio B and he will join you there. Very well. I enjoyed your singing so much. I'm Mrs. Bixby. Mr. Allen told me he had a wonderful new personality for my crispy, crunchy program. He was so right. <laughs> it's agreed, then. You'll work for me. I have the contracts right here. Now, just a minute, lady. I won't haggle. I'll double the amount of money. Well, I don't know. Money? Did you say money? I remember the stuff. What do we do? What do we sign? Give me those contracts. <clears throat> Senorita Cucaracha, you sign right here. Oh, I just remembered. I'm having a few guests in tonight for a musical party. You must come and sing for them. Oh, well, now, that's a problem. Uh, I'll pay you $500 if you come. $500? Who do we have to moiter? We'll be there with bells on. Splendid. How am I going to sing at the party? The same way as you did here. Oh, what a marvelous voice. Thank you. Not you. Come on, we got to go shopping. you got to look nice at the party. Come on. Good evening, gentlemen. Good, Good evening, evening, Jeeves. Just a minute, we came with a lady. Oh, pardon. Quite a shack, this Bixby joint. Yeah, it reminds me of the reform school. Jeeves, what time do they serve cocktails? <clears throat> so happy to have you here. My dear, would you care to go to the powder room? Oh, no, no, she always looks like that. Oh, uh, then come meet my guests. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting the great artists, Senorita Cucaracha, Senor Mucho, and Senor Gusto. What is it, Alice? Father, I'm sure I know those men. Ah, Senorita, I am thrilled. I'm going to tickle myself. <laughs> hey, look. 
Who's here? We better get out of here. If he spots us, we're cooked. Come on. Oh, Mrs. Bixby, I'm so sorry I'm late. I meet some crazy people. They bust my fiddle. They bust my glasses. Mrs. Bixby, you will excuse me. I cannot play my fiddle. I can sing instead, huh? Oh, of course. We should be glad to have you sing, senor. Look at my glasses, all broke. It's a good thing he ain't got his glasses. Maybe he won't know us. I'm sorry about your glasses, senor. Would you care to sing now? Delighted. <laughs> Muslin in on our territory. We gotta do something to stop him. I got it, fellas. Here. a shot, boy. You don't suck up here, America. All right, come on, some more, please. Okay, kid. Vieni sul mar. Vieni! Want some more, please. I mean, quit. Let's give him a salvo. Thank you, thank you. Cherries, huh? See how you like them, West Guy. See how you like them. Swell. Now we got a clear field. All we gotta do is knock him dead with your song and we're in. Just be careful of that record. Nothing's gonna happen to it. Well, it might get broke. Not with me handling it. Just be careful. Shut up. <laughs> with me handling a record, nothing ever... Uh -huh. Look what you did. Now we're cooked. No, we ain't. Look, there's a lot of records. You're getting a half a brain in your skull now, huh? Sextet from Lucy. Can you sing it? I can't even say it. Oh, go on. Get set. Say. Do you know Sextet from Lucy? No, it. I wrote it. Oh, short eyeballs, eh? <clears throat> Senorita's lost a voice. What is it, laryngitis? Oh, fallen arches. Say, I wonder who double crossed us with that record. I don't know who did, but I want to get out of here. Quiet. You lost your voice. Where? Hey, I got a great idea. We better get out of here. Wait. 
Why did you take my record from the broadcasting station? I wanted that job, and you spoiled my chances of getting it. Now, the least thing you can do is to go through with it. I want to prove something to my father. How can we? My voice, I mean, your voice is broken. No, it isn't. It's as good as new. Listen. Oh, my dear, you are wonderful. You'll sing for us now, won't you? Of course she will, won't you? I'll do that number you did at the broadcasting station this afternoon. Play Voices of Spring. This way, senorita. All set? I was good enough to get a job, Father. And you are, dear. You're still going to sing on my program. Didn't I say she had a fine voice? As for these imposters... Oh, 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 How about it? This man has a very bad leg. You're telling me. The vein in his right leg is greatly enlarged. See here. Midway between the kneecap and the ankle joint, there's an area of great congestion. This vein is the cause of all your trouble. I've never seen a vein like it in my life. It's enormous. Well, what's the answer, Doc? I ain't gonna lose my leg, am I, Doc? I've had it ever since I was a little kid. Oh, of course not. <laughs> just go out west a couple of months and you'll be just as good as new. Oh, thanks, Doc. The leg is as good as new. It feels great. <laughs> oh, oh, it's all right. It's all right. Heading west. It's all right. Heading west. It's all right. That saw bones had the right dope. My leg feels swell. Good. What's the matter with that stuff? Give me some with a jolt in it. I'm tough. Look, we're out west now, so we gotta be tough. Don't worry about us. We'll be tough. We know what to do. Okay, boys, get western. Shoot you for the drink. Right. Yeah? Shoot you for the drink. Bro. You throw. Hold it! Okay! Here's your change. What's 
with you guys? What are you trying to... Easy, easy. Move this silk. Shoot you for the drinks. Those Jaspers down there, who are they? I don't know, boss. Well, come in. Go find out who those men are. Doc Barker, I won't do it. You won't do what? You're forgetting, gal, who I got locked up down there. That's better. He's all right. Hello, boys. What brings you to Coyote Pass? Well, lady, it's it's my vein. Your vein? Biggest vein you ever saw. Quit. I always knew there was gold around these parts. Where uh, is Miss Vane? Well, I know. I'll show you. I'll show you. It's right there. Ain't it a whopper? It certainly is. You see, it's just halfway between. It's all very interesting, but I must go now. I want to tell you some more about my vein. I. You can tell me. I'm Doc Marker. Well, pleased to meet you, Doc. This is right up your alley. Did you ever see a vein like this in all your life? Hmm, I should say not. You know something? I could do things with a vein like that. You mean operate? That's right, partner. We'll really go to work on it. No small-time stuff, either. No? If it's near the service, we'll use 20 men with pick and shovel. Well, that might be a... Listen, Doc. And if the vein is any deeper, we'll use dynamite. Oh, no, not on my vein. There are tin horns around here who say Doc Parker ain't a big operator. Well, they won't have a leg left to stand on. Neither will I. <laughs> oh, Mr. Uricard, you kill me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks anyway, Doc. But we'll handle the vein ourselves. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Boy. I saw it. It's worth millions. Big operator, he ain't kidding. What's the matter? Come on. I've got to talk to you. Follow me. Uh -huh. No, honey. You shouldn't have come down here. Johnny, these men are going to help you. Are we? Are we? Are we? Yes. Doc Barker's a crook. He murdered my father and stole the Red Dog Saloon from me. And unless I marry him, he says he's going to kill the Arizona kid. Don't you marry that sidewinder, honey. It don't matter none what happens to me. That's the old Western spirit, kid. And besides, you said these gents were going to help me. Why, sure. It don't matter none what happens to us. What am I saying? I have a plan. Yes. If we can just get our hands on a key to this door. Yes, yes. We can let Johnny out and he can ride for help. Yes, yes, yes. yes. He carries the key in his coat pocket. We'll get it all right. Oh, you're angels. Not yet, we ain't. All we gotta do is get him to take his coat off. That ought to be easy. Shh, here he comes. <clears throat> oh, by the by, Jasper. How long do you wear a shirt like that? Oh, about down to here. Hmm, <clears throat> what a brain should be on the meat counter. Glad to have you with us, mister. Have a little poker game over here. Care to join us? Oh, I'm sure he won't mind at all, partner. Go to it. Now, <clears throat> give him some tips. Thanks. Well, boys, drinks are on me. OK. Where's that bartender? Oh, he's out. I'll fix the drinks. Don't go away. <laughs> Icky May. What's that to you, darling? You take care of the bartender? Yeah. Good work. What do you know about mixing drinks? Nothing. That's fine. Get me a jigger. Old homicide. Molasses. That ought to sweeten them up. Yeah. Tabasco. Open for ten. Thanks. Please, me. These boots are killing me. Raise you ten. Salter. 
Oh. Eggs, that ought to make them cackle. Hey, you put paint in there. So I did. What's that? Paint remover. All right, give me three. I'll take the same. Three, one. I'll bet you 500. Well, mister, quite bet you 500 bucks, can you call? Darn right I can call, only I ain't got 500 bucks. Don't let that worry you. Just give me that paper of yours for security and I'll advance you five grand. You mean this? Why, sure thing. I'll see you 500 and raise you a thousand. Start for him. Easy now. Good. Well, mister, I re-raise you a thousand. Can you call or can't you? I wouldn't be a bit surprised. I'll see you and raise you another thousand. Call. King Eye Straight. Four races. Come to Papa. Give me the sarsaparilla. This drink is for Shemp. I gotta remember that. Okay. Well, why don't you look where I'm going? What's the matter? I don't know which glass is which. Beginner's luck. Come on, hurry up with those drinks. Here's the crime. Yeah, a short life and a merry one. Yeah, a very short life. Well, my little bride to be. Fix the gala drink. Here, Miss Nell, you take mine. Thank you. Excuse me. Certainly, Miss Nell. Hey, she pretty. Well, let's get along with the game. Settle with that skunk, Doc Parker. No, Johnny, no. There's only one thing to do. Go fetch the United States Cavalry. I reckon you're right. I'm burning the trail now. Boss! It's the Arizona kid. He busted out and got away. Got away? He couldn't have. I had him locked in. I got the keys right here in my coat. Icky May. No, 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 you no, have that wrong. Go no, ahead, no, no. oh, boy. Get him over there. Whoa! Get him out. Try him. Wait, my chip. Larry! Hey, Mo! We'll take care of your pals later. Put him in the Arizona kids' room. And really lock the door good this time. Hey, Mo! Chip! Help! <laughs> I don't hold him for three hours. It'll hold him longer than that, boss. It won't have to. I'm going to shoot him at sundown. Uh, Come on. You're gone. 
on. Okay. Mo, they're gonna shoot me at sundown. Not if you ain't still in there, they won't. I wonder how the Arizona kid is doing. I sure hope he makes it. Before sundown. Sir, there's trouble at Coyote Pass. We need the United States Cavalry. Sergeant, sound the assembly. Colonel, I hope you're not too late. Son, never in the history of motion pictures has the United States Cavalry been too late. I'm going upstairs. Okay. Hey, hold that chisel. Right. Oh, 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 play something. I feel like singing. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for the click. You'll get no place fast. Oh, 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 come on. Hold your ear. What is that, a cross cut? <laughs> what do you like that? Come on, oh. I'm busy here. Right. Hurry up. All right. Hold the bar. Have a Forty miles away by the time those yokels wake up. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need any help, fellas. No! Yeah. Yeah. This way. Man, what are Come any closer, I'll blow you up, so help me. Look out! Come on, let's here! The softies, I sure bluffed them. <laughs> you sure did. Hey, Nell's up there, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at them run, they're scared of us. <laughs> you sure bluffed them down the cellar, too. <laughs> what are you hissing about? I ain't hissing. Must be you. Uh, listen, you are. Get Hey, 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 you mean we made this nasty trip for nothing? Sorry, Colonel. What will Washington say about this? All right, men, it's all over. You can go back now. No, honey.
Pardon, Inspector. There are three chaps outside insisting upon an interview. Very well, Dawson. Show them in. Yes, sir. Oh, well. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? Oh, before we answer that, I want to prove we're not gentlemen. Oh. 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 Give me my lip, will you? Ah. Fooled you, didn't we? I say, that's amazing. Now, if you don't mind explaining. We're first class detectives, Inspector. We came to answer your ad. Ed? Yes, here it is. Wanted experienced yard men. Apply, Inspector McCormick, Scotland Yard. That's you, isn't it? Yes, but I'm afraid you don't understand. Oh, yes, oh we yeah, do. but look here. Yeah, here we've been the scene. A1 Correspondence School of Detecting. Oh, yes. Mail order detectives. I'll give you your chance. Oh, boy. Your assignment is to locate some missing papers. Missing papers? Of the papers. We must missing. locate must the missing, missing. papers. Locate missing papers. Fine detectives we turn out to be. This is humiliating. Oh. Oh. Quit squawking, you guys. Don't you know if we do a good job, they might promote us to be detectives. Now carry on. Get busy! Oh, 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 I didn't mean it, Mo. All right, take it easy, son. I just wanted to ask you a question. What would you rather have, a shoe full of dollar bills or two socks of fives? I'll take the two socks. You got them. Oh! Oh! Yeah, <laughs> cheating, eh? Now get the work on the square. You two, get up here and get to work. Wait a minute, what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Nothing, what about it? Oh, I just fell into this. Get out of here. Now we got a system. We'll have this place spick and span and nothing flat. There's another one. Now you guys are really working. Shut up and get busy. Trim that hedge. Well, I guess that's it. Wait a minute, watch that. Hey, you nitwit, we're in a hurry. Use the big clippers. I'll see that Inspector McCormick gets the message. Thank you. If there's any more paper in this yard, I'll eat it. Here comes your lunch. Hey, Larry, come here. Look at this. Three operatives report to Glen Heather Castle at once, 60 miles northwest of Glasgow. Must be Scotch. Instructions on arrival. Oh, boy, an assignment. Yeah, but must be Scotch. Hultman, Hultman. Through these veins flows some of the finest Scotch in the world. I told you we'd get promoted if we did a good job. Look at the place. Clean as a whistle. So let's blow. Not bad. Not good. Get the bag. Get the bag. Get the... Hey, fellas, wait for me! Wait for me! Look at the size of this shack. Training, Training on track, track four. four. Over. What's the matter with you? This is a castle, you nitwit. Say, they say there's a lot of ghosts in castles. That's a lot of baloney. There's nothing in here to be scared of. Yes. The Earl will see you new. This way, please. Hey, Mo, is my slip showing? No. Go oh. on. Go on. Go on. Come in, lads, come in. Well, where's the good fruit scotch been I eat? Hootman, Hootman. It's a blow black moon, nach, nach, to nach, nach, and banach. And today, too. Meet McLarry, McShamp, and I'm McMo. Hiya, Mac. Hiya, Mac. Glad the Mac meet you. Lads, Miss Secretary. Nice to know you, laddies. A charming bit of thistle down, if I say so myself. Aye. <laughs> and what might your name be, lass? Perhaps you've heard it. Tis Lorna Doon. Hi, Lorna. 
How you doing? You must be a bit weary after your long journey. Aye. Aye. Aye, aye, aye. Would you like a wee snifter? Foot, man. That we would, that we would. He owes That's what the man said. He said he owes. Say, what part of Scotland are you from? He's from southern Scotland, below the McMason McDixon line. Mickey Owls, oh, that's what the man said. <laughs> McPherson and the Scotch Brat. Yes, my lord. Here it is, my lads, the very best. Good health to you. <sighs> when he said snifter, he wasn't kidding. Have another? No, thanks. I gotta drive. McPherson, lock it up again. That's 150 years old. With a little luck, it should get to be 250. McPherson, fetch me the rest of my correspondence. Yes, my lord. Aye. And now, lads, I'll tell you why I sent for you. I want you to guard my valuables tonight. For I'm off to a gathering of the clan. Oh, clan bake, eh? Hey. Oh! You got nothing to worry about, Oil. Say, Earl, there's no ghosts here, is there? No, it is only a rumor. That's a foolishness. <laughs> the taxi is waiting, your lordship. One moment, I have some instructions for these lads. Big pardon, sir, but it stops a minute for waiting time. You'll find this very comfortable when the cold, clammy wind howls over the moors like a lost soul. Good night. Good night. Pleasant dreams. If you want anything, just wail, hmm? Like a lost soul. Say, fellas, I ain't tired anymore. Maybe one of you guys ought to turn in. Go on, get in the bed. You'll grab some shut-eye while Shep and I go downstairs and look around. Come on. Wait a minute, Mo. I feel kind of edgy myself. I ought to take something from my nerves. Like what? A trip home. Come on, get going. But wait a minute, I am nervous. Well, if you're so nervous, grab that gun. Hurry up. Come oh! Oh, oh, I didn't mean it, Mo. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Are you all right? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Next time, be more careful. Gosh, I hope nothing happens. What kind of talk is that? What could happen? Go ahead, tell me. What could happen? Nothing, I guess. Well, then go ahead. Go ahead. I'd like to see anybody get something out of here. There's not a chance with us around. Hey, fellas, cut out the racket, will you please? Yeah! I... Nice looking shaving mug. What do you think it's worth? My uncle had a thing like that once. Poor old Uncle Titus. He's gone now. Hard headed old rascal. I'll never forget the first time. Hello, Uncle. Ah! Oh. What hit me? What happened? Was I dreaming? Oh, a lump. What a dream. Uh 
Uh-oh, wrong door. Larry, there's something going on downstairs. I'm glad I'm up here where it's safe. <laughs> this little marble will come in handy. You might be a wee bit lonesome, so I brought some cookies. You like cookies? Oh, that I do, especially blonde ones. How about you and me making with the conversation? I. Oh, me too. You too? I. I don't want to take care of any visitors. Move over. Look what you did to the covers. Uh, quit hogging the blankets, will you? You want me to catch cold? <laughs> Say, you want to see your dentist. Why don't you get to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he akin the healing fling? Aye, tis a rumba with kilts. <laughs> I'm in there. The guy with the big teeth took him. Ah, oh, you're crazy. He's right. <gasps> Somebody stole our bed. You're a wonderful dancer. You're... Operator, get me the police and get... <laughs> Hurry up, open that door. That door, or I'll shoot. Get away! It's him again. Come here. Oh! oh. We got him. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mo. We didn't mean it. You doughheads. Oh! Oh! Oh, 
boy. Look out! Hey, hey, what happened? Hey, Larry! Hey, Larry! Oh. 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 I'll I get over the bed. Oh. I got him. So. Oh. Angus! McPherson! You look better with it on. The dame with the swag! Get her! Wait up! Wait up! Let me go! Let me go! Lord, what's going on here? No! My antiques, my treasures! Hey! We got the other two crooks upstairs. Yeah, Angus and McPherson have been cleaning out the place. The room on the right, officer. So that's what you've been doing, Lorna. Officer, take her away. Lads, I'm a grateful man, and it is only fitting that I reward you. Oh, oh no, you don't that ain't necessary. Yeah, but I will. Come on. The scotch brat, lads, and this time we'll really drink it. For you prove there are no ghosts in Glen Heather Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Into town, partners. We better spruce up. Yeah. Oh. Eat your dust like a man, tenderfooter. I wonder what town this is. We must be on the wrong side of the tracks. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are we mice or men? Mice. mice. Don't get personal. Let's go. They got lamb. And make six sheriffs in five months, not counting the deputies. They all died of their boots on. They was good men, too. It was just that Blackie's gang bushwhacked them, that's all. Well, while Gladys is wetting the whistle, we'll see about getting her a pair of shoes. She could use a pair of bedroom slippers, too. Go on. <laughs> What's wrong, miss? My father's disappeared, and I think he's been dry gulched by Badlands Blackie. Badlands Blackie? Who's he? You mean you don't know? Why, he's a killer. He and his gang hang out at Skullbone Pass. And if anybody gets in Blackie's way, he shoots them. Now, gal, don't worry about Badlands Blackie with Coney Island Curly around. <laughs> Quiet, mashed potato muscles. Oi! Out of here. Hi, Nell. Blackie. Hiya, partner. Yeah, read that. Nell, dear, Blackie has got me. And if you want to see your pappy again, you better do what he tells you, Father. Well, what do you want me to do? Oh, it ain't so bad, Nell. All you gotta do is marry me, and I'll let your pappy go. Marry you? Uh-huh. No. <sighs> Listen, you oversized polecat, what's the big idea? Yeah, what are you picking on a girl for? Here. Yeah. Oh, superstitious, eh? <laughs> oh, oh. Why, you? Oh, 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 well, what's your answer, gal? Time's a wasting. You want to see your pappy alive again, or don't you? Think it over, Nell. I'll be back again for my answer, and it better be yes. S Who done that? She did. Smart, Alex, huh? Oh! Hey, 
That was Blackie. Someone hooked him in a gunfight. Well, whoever it was, he's our next sheriff. <laughs> Good shooting, stranger. You're done fine. We need a man like you in this town for the law. Pays real money, too. Money? When do I start? Right away. <laughs> what about my partners? Oh, we'll make deputies out of them. I got badges for them. You're the new sheriff. Pays a hundred bucks a month. Hundred bucks a month? Oh, boy, I'll be able to get married. I told you he was a brave man. Good luck, Sheriff. Good luck. Well, good luck there, partner. Good luck. Hey, now. I'm a new sheriff. Hundred bucks a month. What do you say you and I get married? If you're man enough to get Blackie and save my father, yes. <laughs> hey, Mo! Hey, Larry! I'm engaged. I'm practically married. I'm the new sheriff. You're the new sheriff? Yeah, and you're my deputies. Oh, hot dog, boy. Wow. Success! Success! <laughs> I don't know what you're so happy about. Don't you know what you're up against? Well, I'm short, new sheriff. Good luck, sheriff. You'll need it. Blackie got Lem this morning. That makes six sheriffs he's killed, not counting deputies. Oh, they never count deputies. Hey, we're deputies. Yeah. We're ex-deputies. Come on, let's get out of town. No, I'm staying and married now. I'll get that scum, Blackie. Oh, you'll get Blackie? Yeah. Like this? Ooh. Or like this? Ooh. Come on, Ooh. get out. Ooh. You better get some practice. You got us into this mess, egghead, so sharpen your shooting eye or Blackie will get us all. I need my glasses. No, you don't need glasses. It's only in your mind. I'll prove it to you. How many letters on that card? Seven. You're wrong. Fifteen. You better use the glasses. How many letters on that side of the card? What card? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Get up there and get ready to shoot. You get over here. Hold that. Hit the cracker first. Who told you you need glasses? An obstetrician. What's the matter with you? Give me these things. Now listen, we've got to get down to practicing, just like I said before. Sharpen your eye on that ombre over there. Come on. You dirty double-crosser, I'll show you who's sheriff around here. Hit me, go on, hit me. Oh, why you? That is a doornail. That's good work, but you'll never get that close to Blackie. What we gotta do is find a long-range weapon. I got an idea. Come on, porcupine. Okay, that's enough. Hmm. Hey, you're supposed to be dead. Hmm, the dummy is warm, too. I need to shave. <laughs> All right, Sheriff, your time has come. I'm going to count to ten, and then I'm going to blast. <laughs> One, two, Not three. Not so fast! One. Hey, Mo! Hey, Larry! Three, three four. <laughs> Fire! Five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine. Let's get out of here. Well, Nell, oh. I told you I'd be back for my answer, and here I'll be. I guess you hold all the aces, Blackie. I'll marry you tomorrow. Nope, it's got to be today, right now. There have been too many things that happen around here that ain't to my liking. All right, Blackie. Well, let's get a going. <laughs> Come on, Trigger. Nell and me is going to get hitched. The judge. Home, I guess. Well, go fetch him. Tell him there's a marrying chore to be done. Sit down, Mrs. Blackie, and put a smile on your pretty face. They want you out of the office.
breakfast. Wow. Thanks, Sonny. Hi, boys. Hi, where you bound? Oh, I'm in a hurry. I've got a Marion job to do. Oh, Marion, well, wait yeah. a minute. Please. I have a little question I'd like to ask. Yeah, yeah? what is it? Well, you see... <laughs> You got everything all set? Yeah, I gotta hurry. I got a Marion job to do. No, 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 no. Howdy, boss. Stick around, Quirk. We'll be needing you for a witness. Well, well. Does somebody want to get hitched around here? Never mind that palaver. Let's get it going here. Oh, well, what day is this? A date? Why, it's... Uh... Why, it's May 24th. My golly, you're right. Uh, the book. Oh, yes, the book. Do you take this horse collar for your lawful water harness? What? No! Uh, the, the ring? The ring, yes. Hmm. <gasps> what do you... Mm. You were supposed to put it on her hand. Before, Nell. Well, I just didn't want anyone to get shot. Oh, well, let's go. Where to? Oh, to my place in Skullbone Pass, where we should have gone in the first place. We can get spliced there without being bothered none. But I couldn't go like this. I have to get ready. After all, this is my wedding day. I'll be there before sundown. All right, then, Nell. At my place in Skullbone Pass before sundown. No tricks now, or you'll never see your pappy again. I'll be waiting. What are you doing that for? He might be hiding in that hay. <coughs> what was that? Sounded like a dog. <coughs> hey! Don't do that! I'm gonna let him have it. No, we gotta get Blackie's okay. You mean to say he'd want this here best bumped off? Sure he does, but he wants to do it himself. We'll just keep it for the boss. This here ought to hold him. Put it on him. Yeah, you get it on him. Oh. Get that lock. Got that lock then? We'll see you later, Rover. Don't worry, kid. We'll have you out of that in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Come here. Hold that chisel. Oh! Why don't you hold your hand still? Get it up there. I don't think that'll work. No? No. Here, I got it. Get around here. Ah, uh, this is the thing. Why didn't I think of it before? Oh, 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 How's that doing? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, Hey! Use one of these firecrackers! Okay. Oh! Okay. Take it easy, kid. Good idea. You got an ounce of brains. Hold still. Just my luck, a dud. Say, there must be some way to get that thing off. Hey, why don't you saw it off? Get his head in here. Yeah. Well, we haven't got all day. Nell is going to get hitched to that rat black if we don't get there in time. Thanks. Who are you? Dummy, you. We gotta get going. I'll get my secret weapon. Let's get on it, boys. We gotta get the skull bone pass before sundown and save poor now. Let's go. Hey! Justice, ain't you? Sure am. That's good, because I'm getting hitched. 
Who's the lucky gal? She'll be here soon, or else. She's got until sundown. In honor of my wedding, from now on, everything's on the house. <laughs> Well, folks, here she is, the future Mrs. Blackie. Oh, she's Glad oh, to see you. Oh, yeah. Ain't she pretty? Glad to have you with us. Here, never mind all that. Fetch the wedding cake. Okay, Blackie. Hey, boss, we got. Oh, I can't be bothered now. Judd, hear thee, Blackie. Were you looking where you were going? No, I was going where I was looking. Oh, uh, come on here. Hey! We better get going. It's a long time since I've done this. I don't seem to recollect how you she goes. You better remember, you old billy goat. Let me think. Hold that for me. All right, let me have the ring. Ring? Uh, well, I... Here. There you are. No, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Take a hold of her hand. No, no, I can't. Oh, you're backing out, are you? Fetching her pappy. <laughs> Stop in the name of the law. <laughs> Give him the works! <laughs> Where's the gold? In a powder shack! if he saved your life. What, him? I'd rather be dead. <laughs> Anything to oblige. Oh, no! No, Father, no! Oh, let go! Father, no! No, let go! Day plumbers. Uh, 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 I'd like you to come right out to 1414 Bleecker Street right away. I uh, ask for Mr. Norfleet. Be over in two shakes of a martini. Ah, <laughs> boy, a first case. Hey, come on, champ, it's our first call. Oh. Oh. We gotta get. 
get a longer jeep. I dropped a very valuable diamond ring down into this wash basin drain. Please, don't give up until you find it. Don't worry, boss. We'll have your ring back before I can say cookamonga. That's fine. Oh, uh, my wife has guests and is unveiling a new Van Brotten painting she just bought. Please, work quietly. Okay, we'll be quiet. Quiet! I said quiet! Come on, get busy here. All right. Get the ring. Oh! Come on, get that plate out of there. All right. I think he got something. How about that? It was stuck on the inside rim all the time. Call Mr. Northley. Mr. Northley, we oh. found it. Get it! Oh. You knucklehead, you! You're going to get that ring if I have to shove you down a pipe after it. Oh, wait a minute. There must be another way. Oh, no, you can't. Another way. No, no, please. Get up there. Ow! Ow! Ow, oh, you're crushing my skull. Well, get that ring! Ow! I won't fit in here. By golly, he's right. His ears are in the way. I got to get something. Oh, yeah, a wrench. Oh. oh, no, he couldn't have. He couldn't have gone down that drain pipe. Larry, where are you? I'm down here. No. I'll figure something out, kid. Wait a minute. I'll figure something out. Come on, Mo, get busy. Okay, kid. I'll be with you in a jiffy. Take it easy, kid. I'll find a way. Now, how easy, Larry. Oh! Ah! I got part of them. I'll have to take them out in pieces. Take your time, kid. Hey, Mo, what are you doing? I'm trying to get you out of this pipe, you sap. Oh. What'd you do, blow your stack? Oh, I'll blow your stack. I'll smack you to snoot. I, but... Larry! I can't get it out. Help me, will you? I'm stuck. Oh, oh take it easy. Oh, I'll get you out. Oh, oh. Your hand all right? I don't know. It's all right. Ow! Give me that. I hope that rings in here. Oh! I'll murder you. Take it easy. Hey, that ring went down that drain pipe. How do you know it didn't go down the water pipe? Mm. Maybe it did. Mm. Hey, Chef! We're in here! We got a lot of work to do, so shake a leg! Hold your horses, will you? I think that ring slid down one of the pipes into the basement. We all better go down there and find it and hurry! Well, don't rush me. I gotta wash my hands. Oh. Who do you think I am, anyhow? <laughs> hey, anyhow. What? We didn't locate the ring. Hold on to this and don't let it slip. Okay. Give me that blowtorch. No! Oh. Get my foot out of there. Okay. Ow. Now see what you did? What? Get oh. out of here. Wait a minute. We can't find a ring while it's leaking. I wonder where you shut the water off. It must be upstairs. Water always runs downhill. You're a very intelligent imbecile. Thanks. Yeah. Shut the water off! All right. Come on! I'll get the knife. Yeah! Don't get busy! We're simply dying to see the Van Brocklin. Well, I'll not keep you waiting. A great help you are. That other chowder head didn't shut the water off. Now you do it. Here. Wait a minute. Well, I find the valve. That's your job, you dummy. Look in the kitchen, look in the attic. Look in the backyard. Oh, it's divine. What color, what detail. And it's over 200 years old. Every museum in the country tried to buy it. It's a masterpiece, all right. What idiot left this water running? I did. Uh, I wonder where those other locks are. I gotta get rid of this water. Uh, uh, 
Success at last. What a nightmare. Yeah! I better go find that water cut off. I'll find that ring if it kills me. Hey, Mo! No wonder the water don't work. These pipes are clogged up with wires. Look! Well, yank them out, we'll hook the pipes up all over again. You wash the brain, go on. Oh, all right. No, we don't go in for sculpture. It's too bulky. We, we just... Oh, dear. Oh. As I said, we, we don't... I, I, I received... White, all colors. I don't... Short circuit, no doubt. this thing or else. understand what's holding up dinner. Sorry, folks. Dinner's postponed on account of rain. Well, I'm, I'm sure it won't be long. Shall we see what's on the television set? Uh, excellent. Uh, excellent idea. <clears throat> glimpses of scenic America. First, we take you to Niagara Falls. Well, I'll get it in a minute. Oh, 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 what? I, uh, change your clothes, dear. You're all wet. I'll let the water run out the window. That's what I'll do. Oh, yeah?
I say, you television people! Oh. Madam, shall I get you some water? No! Oh, oh my painting, it's gone! Nobody leaves the house. Sorry, just the formality. I'll call the police. Who? What was it? What? I tell you, Mo, I couldn't find that water shut off. Shut off. Shut up! Maybe the ring went behind that basin. Here, pry that basin away from that wall just one inch so I can look behind it. Now, if I was a ring, where would I go? Oh! 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 oh. I'm sorry, Mo. So am I. Oh! You imbecile, you. Hey! The ring has been in your hair all the time. Mr. Northleaf! Mr. Northleaf! Mr. Northleaf! Come here! Take uh, your I, ring, Mr. I, Northleaf! Uh, thank you. No, I'm frantic, gentlemen, frantic. Someone stole our new $50,000 painting. Where's Shemp? He loves pictures. I think he's upstairs. Wait here, boss. We'll be right back. Come on. Anything, anything. I, I must have a drink of water. <laughs> You folks going somewhere? Just looking for a drink of water. Turn on anything. You'll get it. He's gone. We can't make it out that way. We'll be searched. Yeah. Yeah. They won't find anything. I'll put the picture in here until the excitement blows over. They'll never find the painting in this pipe. You go to the car. I'll be right with you. You better come on. Ah, you crook. We got you. I'll be alone while brazy. You. Don't you dare throw that pie. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, no, you don't. Are you here, Mo? No, I just left. Oh, get out of here. Next time, watch where you're thrown. Oh, yeah? Well, I, I know what I... My rights are... I'll get you a nice reward. My oh, boy, a reward. Won't oh, Shemp be glad to hear this? He certainly will. <laughs> hey, where is that puddin' head, Shemp? That's got it. Now to get out. Mo! Larry! <laughs> You see, Miss Dinkelmeyer, that's the way it should be sung. Shall we try it again? I'll try anything for you, Professor. Oh, that's fine, <laughs> fine. If you please, Doctor. 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 Oh! Hey. What? 
to Fortissimo, to Allegro, to Quantro. Oh, is that bad? It ain't good. You're supposed to be singing about the voices of spring, not the eruption of a volcano. Give with the throat, not with the bellows. Oh, oh Professor, you want it more like a bird. That's it. That's it. Uh, give me the bird. Oh! Oh! Look. Ah! Play. enough for today. You might hurt your voice, you know, bend it, crack it or break it or something. Oh, Professor, you're so considerate. I'm just crazy about you. <laughs> Don't forget, we've got another lesson Tuesday. Goggle with old razor blades. All right, Professor. I know you wouldn't want anything to happen to my throat. Except to have somebody cut it. How would you like to be married to a dame like that? Don't even say that. Oh. I ought to. You ought to what? I ought to be a little more careful. Well, shut up and listen. Do you remember your Uncle Caleb? Do I? Why, that old tight wad heat steel flies from a blind spider. But, Champ, he's... Uh... He's a louse and a weasel. Yeah, well, he just died and left you 500,000 bucks. Just like that old skin flint. <laughs> 500,000 bucks! <laughs> Poor old Uncle Caleb. Like I was saying, he was a swell guy. Give me the shirt off his back, yeah, and throw in the buttons, too. But there's one little catch. You get the dough provided you're married. So <laughs> Married? No. No, fellas. I'm gonna faint. Oh. Or... Or what? If you get married within 48 hours of the reading of the will. What time was that? Six o'clock the night before last. You just got seven hours to get yourself a bride. It can't be done. No woman is interested in me. Maybe not, pal. But if you look real hard, you might find one that's interested in a half a million bucks. Maybe you got something there. You're darn right he has. Do you know any girls? I got a lot of numbers, but I haven't had much luck with them lately. Well, you can't get killed for trying. Where's the phone? There's a booth down the hall. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, down, down, down the hall. That makes 17. You ought to hit the jackpot with one of them. Go ahead. Give me Susquehanna 2222. Say, he's been in there over an hour. What are you getting nervous about? When Shemp pours on the charm, no dame can resist him. I hope you're right. Hello? Is this Ginger Gray? It is? Well, this is your little snookums. I'm about to do you a big favor. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh. oh, 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 hey, any luck? I've got one phone number and one nickel left. Well, start using it. Oh, you clumsy ox, you. Where'd that go? It went down here someplace. Well, let's find it. Take it over that side. Cloud oh, off. Take this receiver. Oh, I got way. it. I got it. Oh. Oh. All right, just take it. Take wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Oh. Now, wait a minute. Get this out of my hair here. All right. All right. Easy, easy, easy. Get off your foot. Look at, look at what I got here. What oh. is that? One of those. Yeah, wait a minute. It leads around under my arm, then up here around the neck. That's your... Get your hand over me here. Oh, all right. All right. Easy, easy. All right. Wait a minute. Come on. Oh. Look at oh, all easy. right. Easy. All right. Now, wait a minute. Can you dial from there? No, can you? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. If I come around like this one and get up in this one, how's that? Well, it don't feel as good as when I did this. Oh, wait, 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 take it easy. Now, look. We ain't getting no place fast. Let's get at this thing right the right way. You want to get this off? All right, wait a minute. All right. Can't stand it anymore. It started with the book, didn't it? Mo, where's your hat? How you doing? Get your hand. 
it out of my face. <laughs> that ain't my hand, that's your hand. All right, you asked for it. Ow! Ow! Wait, wait. Oh. Say, miss, would you like to get married? What? Get married. Well, I don't know, but you are kind of cute at that. Oh, it's not me, it's him. Right. There isn't much time left, you know that, don't you? All right. What happened? That's what I want to know. Wait a minute. Did you get a load of that? What a dish. I wonder who she is. We'll soon find out. Oh, boy. Yes. Who's the new dame? A Miss Hopkins. Miss Hopkins? Did you hear that, kid? And good looking, too. Go get her, Shep. Oh, wait a minute. You can't propose to a girl looking like that. We gotta give you the works. Come on. Stand still, will you? We gotta get going. It's three o'clock now. Yeah? And if you don't marry that girl by six o'clock, we're out of the money. I said stand still. Oh, oh, whoa! Mo, I'm blind! You point my eye out! Get a towel, Mo! Okay. Get a towel! Oh, 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 oh! Hey, where are the towels? In the bottom drawer. I got it. <laughs> you sure look funny with a Buster Brown collar. Hold that. Oh. You where are you? Here. Say, I forgot to tell you, when the afternoon papers come out, you're gonna be famous. How come? I gave the story to the reporters. Yes, sir. Shemp Howard to inherit a half a million bucks. Let's get going, kid. I'm telling you to hold still now. I'm warning you. Oh, excuse me. What that was? Yeah. Hold oh, still. Almost had seven years of hard luck. <laughs> oh, how do you like that? I should stand still. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, I cut off my head. I cut off my head. Mo, my head is off. Mo, my head is off. <laughs> my head is off. <laughs> oh, oh, there I am. And as pretty as a picture. Yeah, but Nate, oh. get gone here. Oh. This means uh, half a million dollars. I know what it means. Here you are. Boy, am I tired. Where do I throw this water? Ah! Oh. You look good. You look great, kid. You're a cinch. Go to it. Oh, my. Come on, come on. Hello. Oh, hello. Come in, cousin Basil. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I, I. I've just been dying to meet you. Uh, mm -hmm. I, You're I, even cuter than that lady said you what, were. What? Oh boy, success. Yeah, listen to those kisses. Cut it out. Oh, you must be exhausted after your long trip. Sit down. Let me look at you, Cousin Basil. Oh. Now, don't you go away. Hello? Yes, this is Miss Hopkins. Your Cousin Basil? Well, then who is... I was just... How dare you pretend to be my Cousin Basil? I'll teach you a thing or two. You won't. Don't you dare strike me. Taking advantage of a poor, weak, helpless woman. Boy, his kisses are getting louder. You, you, you horrible person, you! Oh, oh. Get up, get up. What happened, kid? Can I help it if I ain't Cousin Basil? Oh, Professor, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Oh. All I wanted to do was propose, but... Propose? Oh, Professor, this is so sudden. You mean you'll really marry him? Oh, of course. He's my little old dream. Oh. Your little dreamboat is sailing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Wait a minute. You're gonna sail away from a half a million bucks? We only got two hours left. Come on, get going. Just come on. Come right in, folks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Say, here's the license. My pal wants to get married in a rush. Oh, splendid! Oh, excuse me. Hello? Uh, who? Mr. Howard? Yes, he's here. Hello? Yes? What? How many of them? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. That was the clerk at the apartment. Those dames you phoned this morning found out about the 500 grand in the papers. Come on, pal. We gotta make this fast. Uh, have you got the ring? Why, certainly. Certainly, I got it. Oh! It went in the piano. Get it. You see anything? Yeah, wires. Listen, you. What? You know, I think the piano's out of tune. Come on. I think I see it. Oh! Oh! Look out. Get up out of there. Get me out of here. My face. Oh, you want to spoil my looks? Impossible. Never mind your face and get that ring. It's a quarter of six. Oh! Oh, I'm awful sorry. So am I. Oh, 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 give Quit me playing up. around in there and get that ring. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, 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 Easy, now wait. Get this stuff off. Oh, oh, oh. You oh, get oh. in the messes every time. Here, give me your arm. I'm a few minutes left and no ring, no nothing. Wait a minute, fellas. Here's the ring. How do you like that? Get up. Okay, partner, we're ready for the kickoff. Uh, join hands, you lovebirds. This character. She's the bride. Oh, yeah? Not while I got my strength. Tell me, Poodles, didn't you propose to me? Yes, but I'm with oh, you. Didn't you? Oh. Yes, but you turned me down. That was before I read the papers. Now I accept. Okay, oh. Toots, let her rip. Oh, oh no, don't he proposed to me, too. Hey, 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 oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah. Look at that. We better do something fast. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, 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 oh. Say something. Help! 
Help! Help! 